Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Hayden Gallup and welcome back to the channel. All right, so what is going on guys? Today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to create that cool little warping transition that you guys just saw at the beginning of this video where you guys can kind of see the girl bring up her camera and then right as she's about to take the shot, the whole entire screen kind of warps inwards. Um, it's a very, very nice transition if you wanna give your videos a little bit more of a powerful oomph to it and uh, yeah, let's go and get right into the tutorial. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is just start up a new composition by going up to composition, the new composition. Uh, and if you guys wanna go ahead and just copy down these settings right here, go ahead and pause the video and do that. Okay. Alrighty, so after we've done that, go ahead and import your clips and After Effects. I've already done that over here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drag and drop these onto my timeline. Alrighty. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and mute the audio as well on these by clicking this icon over here. Alrighty, so what you wanna go ahead and do is just drag and line up your clips together if you haven't already done so. Um, you can do this uh, really easily by just dragging over and then holding shift on your keyboard. They'll kind of just latch onto each other and magnetically lock. You wanna make sure there's no space in between your clips so they kinda of just seamlessly transition in between each other. Alrighty, so we'll go ahead and uh, show you guys what clips I'm working with uh, today. So I've kind of got this one where this girl is taking a photo with her camera and then her kind of looking away. Um, definitely a little bit aesthetically pleasing and they work really, really well with this particular transition. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do now is just go ahead and uh, create the transition. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and right click here down on my timeline and uh, go ahead and go to new and then a adjustment layer and drag the layer to the top. And then after that, we're gonna go over to our effects and presets. And if this isn't pulled up for you guys, just go over to window and then just make sure effects and presets is checked off. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just type over here and type in optics compensation right there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it onto my adjustment layer. Alrighty, and as you guys can see over here, this has popped up. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is just change the field of view option. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this transition off. So what we wanna go ahead and do is just find the first place to keyframe. I'm feeling about two seconds and one frame in. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is drop my first keyframe. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and press U on my keyboard just to reveal the keyframe dropped. As you guys can see, it's that little diamond right there. And then next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just make the transition happen. So I'm gonna go to the middle cut of our video, so right about here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drag up on this value but as you guys can see, it's kind of going outwards and we don't want that to happen. So what we wanna go ahead and do as well is just check reverse lens distortion. That way it's coming inwards. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and keep on dragging here after that. And you guys can do this to whatever you like, um, depending on how hard you want it to be. I'm gonna go to about, let's say about 130, perfect. So what I'm gonna also do as well is after that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and go out a little bit further on our video. Right there seems about good. So I'm about at two seconds and nine frames in. I'm gonna go to about two seconds and 17 frames in. And then after that, I'm just gonna click right here and then just type in zero. So now we've kinda got this. Boom. And it kind of is a nice little seamless transition and a nice, very, very nice warping effect uh, to give a little bit more power to it. Now, if you guys did want to shorten up the transition, you could always move these two side keyframes in closer. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that to show you guys. So I'm going to move it in a little bit closer, right about there. And you guys can get the, the transition to go a little bit faster if you would like. Alrighty, so after you've done that, let's say that we don't want it to go to the middle of the screen. We kind of want to keep focus on our subject. We're going to go ahead and change the um, the view center. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop another keyframe on our timeline. So I'm just going to go up here and press that stopwatch. Then I'm going to go ahead and tap U twice on my keyboard to reveal all the keyframes that we've dropped. I'm going to go to about right here. And then I'm gonna make sure that optics compensation is selected over here. And we're gonna go ahead and drag 
over to where our subject is at. I'm gonna go ahead and put this little crosshair right here. And as you guys can see when we do our final look at, you guys can see it kind of keeps it on her and as the transition is happening, it's uh, the crosshair is kind of moving over to keep line on our subject. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the uh, transition in a gist, guys. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy uh, the video. It is a very, very simple transition, but it definitely um, has a lot of power to it and definitely can help out with uh, your video and giving it a little bit more of a feeling to it. Um, but if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, please make sure to drop a like on the video. It always helps out the channel. And if you guys want to see more tutorials like this in the future, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm definitely going to be uploading a lot more content down the road. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. And if you guys also um, want to keep up with me on a daily basis, I will have all my social medias linked in below. I post a lot of different things on there from gaming related stuff to design stuff. So if you guys are interested in that please make sure to go ahead and follow those social media pages but uh yeah i hope you guys did enjoy the video and i will see you guys in the next one